Alright guys, once again, it is that time of year to thank the women in our lives who took on the daunting task of giving our sorry asses birth, <laughs> either through pushing us through their vaginal orifice or cutting through their abdominal wall and pulling us out through a c-section, or I guess you could thank the mad scientists as well if you're made in a petri dish or a test tube or all that kind of stuff, but mainly just the women, right? So I did this last year, a uh, commentary last year, where I just wanted to take a small opportunity to once again thank our mothers, and obviously by the banner in the corner right there, you can tell that it is Mother's Day. But I really can't, th when I think about the excruciating and painful process that is childbirth, I, there's no one day that can really be thankful, I think, in my opinion, because it's prob it is the most painful, painful thing a human could possibly do in their lifetime. And lucky for us, as men, we, we will never have to endure such pain as that one. And we never have to worry about it. In my opinion, we kind of got the uh, higher end of the stick right there since we don't actually have to carry the baby for nine months in our bellies. We never have to worry about things such as epidurals, gigantic needles being shoved in your lower back and all that kind of stuff. Or having to get back into shape after we squeeze that baby out. And yes, a lot of that was very graphic and disgusting because honestly, that was what I was going for. Like I said, there's really no one way, either through chocolates or cards or presents, to really thank your mom enough for giving you birth. But I guess Mother's Day is a start. So what I want you guys to do is pause the video right now, go up to your mom, give her a hug, tell her that you love her, and thank you for... <laughs> Thank you for enduring the harsh pain that was involved in giving birth to you because that's what really it's all about when you come to think about it at the end of the day of what life means. And if your mom, like me, lives about a how hour and a half away, um, that's why the telephone was invented. It gives you the magic opportunity to call people and contact them at a long distance. And a lot, not a lot of us use it, especially when I think about it, me during the school year. Uh, I think once in a while, once we get into the exam period, when things get a little bit more tense, we just forget to call home once in a while. But days such as this one are the perfect opportunity to do so. Um, call your mom, let her know what's going on in your life, and all that kind of stuff. And I'm just going to give you a quick background story of my life. For a lot of you guys, you already know I am Asian, despite the fact that every time I post a vlog, people still ask me or so am surprised that I am Asian, but that's another story, I guess. So I immigrated to Canada when I was about two years old. I am an immigrant and my parents initially came from Vietnam. Uh, so I am Vietnamese. I can speak Vietnamese pretty fluently. And uh, but the thing is, I wasn't born yet when they left the country. It took a couple of years uh, after they left the country to actually get to Canada. I was actually born in a refugee camp, and when I think about it, how terrible would that have been for my mother? Having to squeeze this gigantic headed baby out of her body, as well without any use of medication or anesthetic such as an epidural. <laughs> drugs are awesome, especially if I was pregnant, I would just say pump as many drugs into me as humanly possible so I don't have to feel this thing coming out. And my mother, by no sense of the imagination, is a large lady. She's like the smallest lady you'll ever meet. She's like five foot nothing, and she was probably like, I don't know, 100 pounds when she first gave birth to me. So it's a daunting task, I know it was. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that being said, do what you gotta do to contact your mother. Wish them a happy Mother's Day. Tell them that you love them. And I'm actually on my way out to have brunch with my girlfriend's family for Mother's Day because no lady should have to cook on her special day, right? And we know for hell, men can't do it. And I got her flowers and a scarf for this weekend if you guys are interested. But I actually have called my mom, wished her a happy Mother's Day, told her I love her and all that kind of stuff. And I highly suggest that you guys do as well because that is the right thing to do. And if you're not, you're dead in my books. And so thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the guy who rage quits at the end after I finish the game. It is a flawless 13-0 if you're wondering. And I'll guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace.